Hey, um, how am I doing today? I'm doing very well. It's been a busy day. It's been very long today. Um, thank you for the compliments on my haircut. I just got the sides cut. I'm growing the top out, this part, and then I'm cutting the sides shorter. And I'm growing this out too. I'm feeling better today. I was very tired. I didn't feel well yesterday. I felt sick yesterday, but I feel better today. But I will wait a little bit longer. Thank you for the hearts. I love the hearts. Love getting the hearts. Thank you for the compliments on my haircut. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little wet right now from when I got my haircut, but it looks good, I think. I'm happy to have it. <laughs> So I'm going to wait 30 more seconds and then we will start today's lesson. I have a word that I really like today. Um, yes, they wet my hair down. It says still wet. They wet my hair down to give me a haircut. So it's a little wet right now. I'm not sweating today, which is good. I'm not sweating today. Yes, it's good. That's a good thing. I like not sweating. So, um, so today's word I picked because it's one of my favorite words to use. I say it a lot. Um, and I, I say it pretty regularly and, um, before we get started, I got a question, how often do I get a haircut? Not very often. I used to have very long hair. I used to have hair down to here. Um, it was very, very long and it would be back like this. Um, but I cut it. I like it shorter cause when it's hot outside, I sweat less. Um, and I usually have a beard too. I, the, I started these videos and I had a beard, but I cut my beard off too. Kind of had like Thor hair, like the superhero Thor and a long beard. But then I cut it to look more professional. And I, I had to shave my beard for a, I was um, in a skit for an old movie theater. I was in like a play almost. And the character had no facial hair. So I had to shave my beard. I usually have a beard though, especially because Chicago is so cold. Chicago is very cold, so I keep a beard during the winter to keep my face warm. To keep my face very warm. It gets very, very cold. It snows all the time. Is there not a good connection here? I might go inside if they, I can get a better connection. I'll, let me check and see if I can go inside. Let me know if the connection is better inside. One second. Up close and personal. My sister is right there. She's watching SpongeBob. <laughs> I think everybody knows SpongeBob. <laughs> is the connection better here? Cool. I'm getting good answers. So I will do my lesson from the piano then. There my dogs are. My dogs are coming over to check everybody out. Say hi. Say hi, guys. <laughs> so let's get started with today's lesson. And I will be teaching one of my favorite words, a word that I say often. And the word is ruse. Ruse. R-U-S-E. A ruse. And if you like the movie, have you? Seen, if anybody has seen the show Archer, has anybody seen Archer? It's like a, um, it's an, il it's an illustrated show, or it's like um, animation. But if you know Archer, then you know the word ruse. So has anyone seen Archer? Wait for people to comment back. Well, if you have seen Archer, then you will hear Archer, the main character. Archer says this a lot. Um, it's a comedy kind of um, animation show. It's kind of inappropriate. It's adult humor. It's adult humor. But he says, it's a ruse, a lot. He always says, it's a ruse, like that. He always goes, he goes, oh, I tricked you. It's a ruse. And that's how he talks. And a ruse is an action designed to confuse someone or mislead them. So to trick someone, it is a trick. A ruse is a trick. So if you're tricking someone, it is a ruse. And I use this a lot with my friends. Um, yesterday I was riding in the car with my friend and I was sitting there and I told him that a girl liked him. I told him that one of my friends liked him. And he was all excited. He's like, oh my gosh, really? She didn't tell me any of this. 
she didn't tell me that she liked me the night before. And I tricked him, I was tricking him into thinking that she liked him. And after he got really excited, I said, I'm just kidding, it's a ruse. And he was like, oh, how dare you? Don't trick me like that. I was going to talk to her. I was going to message her. But this is what a ruse is. A ruse is a trick. So R-U-S-E, a ruse. And you're trying to confuse someone or mislead them or trick them. So I have some sentences for the word ruse. Oh, and I know you said you wanted to see my dad. My dad's right here really quickly. Dad, you want to say hi? There's <laughs> an apron on. This is my dad, though. Say hi. Hello. So this is John. His name's John, J-O-H-N. Um, but, so there's my dad. But back to the sentences, the lesson. So a ruse, I'll, I will give you my first couple sentences. So my first one is, because of a clever ruse, he got out of learning English for the day. So because of a clever ruse, he got out of learning English for the day. So the student tricked his parents or tricked the teacher and got out of having to learn English. So he might have faked being sick. He might have pretended like he was sick and told his parents, I'm sick today, I can't learn English. Well, this is a trick because he's not really sick. It's a ruse. It is a trick to get out of learning English. So he used a ruse to get out of learning English for the day. Another example, the ruse was successful, but the man soon found out he was back. Oh, sorry, I read it wrong. Okay, so let's pretend, I'll explain this example first. So let's pretend that a man is on a trail. He is on a walkway. Trail is like where you walk in the woods. And you are trying to trick him, get him off of the trail. So this sentence, listen closely. The ruse was successful, but the man soon found his way back to the trail. So what this means is that we were trying to get him lost. We were trying to get him in the woods. So we used a ruse. We used a trick. In cartoons, you will see people in like cartoons or animations. If people are walking in the woods, someone changes the direction, the arrow, the sign that points which way to go. This is a ruse. You're trying to trick them to go off the path and get lost. So this is a ruse. So we tricked him and he went off the path, but he soon found the path again. He realized, oh, someone tricked me and he found the path again. So this is a ruse, a trick. And then I have one more. This one's kind of funny. Was he gold digging or simply a, was it a ruse to stay the night? So gold digging means you're trying to date someone for their money. You are trying to date them for their money. You are a gold digger. You are trying to take their money. You don't actually like them. This is a common phrase in um, the United States. People could call gold diggers if they're trying to take someone's money by dating them. So in this example, was he gold digging or simply using a ruse to stay the night? So it looked like he might be tricking her or he might be trying to take her money. So this is what a ruse is. A ruse is a trick. So if someone tricks you or you trick someone, you can say, it was a ruse. It was a trick. My puppies are fighting again. Guys, relax. Don't fight. They play with each other a lot. So a ruse, a trick, or just trying to mislead someone or confuse them. And it's spelled R-U-S-E, ruse. So do I have any questions for today's word, or do I have any questions about anything else? And thank you for the hearts. Oh, I got a question, Oliver? Yes, my dog, the black and white dog is named Oliver, and then the brown dog is named Lola, Lola. So yes, ruse means a trick. So ruse, so it's a ruse means so if you say, it's a ruse, you're saying, it's a trick. And yes, the brown dog is Lola. So do I have any questions? Feel free to ask. I can answer as many questions as possible. 
I'm going to go sit on the couch while I answer questions. I like the couch better. There we go, on the couch. So do I have any questions for today? Oh, awesome, I have a comment. Hello, I am new here. I'm glad to see new people. I love having new people learn new words every day. So feel free to watch. And if you can't watch the video when I'm doing it, you can look at them on YouTube. I try to upload them. Unless I'm busy, I try to upload them the day after. If not, I will upload several. I'll upload like three videos at the same time. I'm getting ready to go to my school in Chicago. I'm leaving in the next few days to go back to school and do orientation for students. I am an orientation leader. I'm an orientation leader. So what I do is I take new students, the freshmen. So these are brand new students and I show them around the school because I'm a senior. So I show them and I help them see everything and get used to being in school. It's fun, it's a lot of fun. My school is North Central College. So do I have any questions? Take your time. I see people are pressing the hearts, I love that. Um, so what day exactly and what's a freshman? So a freshman is a phrase for a first year student. So a first year student in college is a freshman. Same with high school, it is a freshman, a first year student. They're fresh, which means they're new, fresh or new. And I'm going to school either possibly tomorrow or in the next few days, so let's say Monday or Tuesday. So freshmen are first year students. And then sophomores, sophomores are second year students. Juniors are third year students, and then seniors are fourth year students. So these are the different, the different levels. Um, so yes, freshman is the first year of high school, which is ninth grade. It's the ninth grade. And also, your first year of college, you are a freshman or a first year. And the question, another question was, what do I study? What am I good at? I am a business student, but I also am writing and psychology. These are the three areas I really enjoy. But I'm a business student. My degree will be in international business and marketing, but I do a lot of writing. I do a lot of leadership work, and I do a lot of psychological, like psychology work as well. So a combination, if that helps. I like writing the best. Writing is my favorite thing to do. So I'm getting my bachelor's degree. I'm graduating with my undergraduate degree, my bachelor's.